Okay, so now we have a different setup. I've set my meter stick system up to have three applied torques. So on the left side of the stick, this mass is applying a torque, which is equal to this distance times the mass times gravity, M1. We also have the center of mass that's on the left side of the stick. So this is applying a torque as well, which is equal to this distance times the weight of the stick or the mass of the stick times gravity. On the right side of the stick, we have this distance and this mass times gravity. We're not gonna give you this mass. This is gonna be the unknown mass that you have to solve for for the slab. Okay. So again, I've written out torque in the clockwise and counterclockwise directions. So here I have the clockwise direction. We have R2, M2, G, and the counterclockwise are the torques due to the center of mass and M1. Um, and the net torque, again, is going to be the torque in the counterclockwise direction minus the torque in the clockwise direction, which is equal to zero because our system isn't rotating or pivoting at all. So we'll uh, bring out what this equation looks like, plugging in for counterclockwise and clockwise torques. So R1, M1G plus RCM, MSG minus R2M2G equals zero. And again, we'll send you the data and um, you can solve for M2.